What is going on guys? It is Simon here. I am back in front of the camera. I have another parcel from Japan, so let's open it up and take a look. Okay, well as mentioned, I am back in front of the camera, uh, and that's because uh, for the past month, I've been moving house. Now, I mentioned in the last update uh, channel video that me and my wife had purchased a house and we were moving. So we are finally in here, all settled down, everything's going great, I'm really, really happy. All the hard work has paid off. So, super, super excited, without a doubt. Now, today's video, completely unscripted. Um, I've, I have a package from Japan. Um, I purchased this some time ago and it's just been sitting around for the past month uh, because I wanted to unbox this on camera and share it with you guys. Basically, just a little treat uh, for myself uh, just to celebrate everything that's happened over the past month. Now, this contains a variation of PlayStation 3 console. Now, it's not rare or anything. Um, it's just kind of a basic uh, Japanese uh, variant of PS3. A um, little bit of a story behind it. Now, I, will, I guess we'll just open it up first and we will talk about it once I've got it out in front of the camera. So hopefully I don't struggle too much cutting everything open. Normally, Japanese sellers uh, pack everything really, really well. So this parcel looks pretty secure. It doesn't seem to be any damage on it. I've just removed my shipping information off the top previously. Come on. Oh, here we go. Like I said, I've been dying to get into this. Um, it's just been sitting around and I've just, I just really want to open it up and check it out. Okay, so here it is. Oh, it's got even more packaging around it. Oh, it's a ton. We'll chuck the box out of the way. Oh. We're also the new game room. Now, obviously I haven't talked much about it, but I'm probably 90%, uh, the game room's probably at 90% set up. Once it's done, I'll give everyone a little bit of a tour. We're not gonna go too in depth, but I mentioned that I wanted to change it up a fair bit, and I managed to do that. Uh, I've managed to fit in another glass display case. We have one giant kind of uh, DVD slash uh, CD display shelf behind us. I've also got another uh, unit just here, and that's housing various figures and things. So I'm pretty happy with how it's all coming together. I've got some um, pictures that are off getting framed at the moment that are going to go up on the wall just behind the camera. So. I'm happy with how the new game room's turning out. But anyway, I'm dawdling. This variation of PlayStation 3 is the Saturn Silver Fat console. Now, I think these things look amazing. So, here's the story I was talking about I was gonna get to. Um, back in 2006, I didn't own a PlayStation 3. I was really, really big into Xbox 360 but I did manage to watch um, Sony's press conference. Uh, that's the 2006 one. Everyone said that was really, really bad. I watched it through, I didn't think it was that bad. They were very, very arrogant, but by today's standards, I thought it was all right. Tons of games, uh, tons of hardware. I thought it was pretty good. Uh, and up on the stage, so Kaz Harai was up there. He had a black PlayStation 3 and a silver one behind him and he was walking backwards and past that while he was doing, doing his speech in his uh, presentation. And I said to myself, that satin silver PS3 looks amazing. If I was to buy a PlayStation 3, it would be one of those. But for some reason, I just never, ever got around to doing it. And I watched the press conference again, uh, probably about a month or two ago, and I said, oh, the satin silver PlayStation 3, that's one I still haven't picked up yet. And they're super cheap and they're from Japan, so I really would like to kind of um, bump up my PlayStation 3 console collection. Um, I think last time you guys saw, I had a PlayStation 3 cabinet in the last uh, room tour video, but there were probably only three consoles uh, inside that glass display cabinet. Um, obviously, you've got the three different variations of PlayStation 3 console. You've got the fat, uh, the slim, and then the super slim, but my favorite out of all of those variants are the original facts. There's just something about them. They're just big and bulky and they just look freaking cool. So anyway, let's get to opening up this. So, oh. so they package it really well. Like that's what I love about Japanese sellers is to put these two little tabs just on the back here. So the lid doesn't pop open, but let's see what's inside. Hopefully this looks good. 
So we have our Jewel Shock 3 in satin silver. That seems to be in pretty good condition. I don't actually have this variant at all. That's awesome. Oh, and it's still got battery. Nice. We have AV cable. I can't believe that for all those years, Sony didn't uh, throw in a HDMI cable. They only like included the AV cables all the way up to the super things. That was pretty silly. And then we have a power cable. And this one looks different. I don't know if this is the standard one that comes with it. That's very strange. But it seems to have a little modification coming off it there. Yeah, I, I don't know. All right, cool. Anyway, let's dig down a little bit deeper and look at the console. God, these things weigh a ton. What else is there? Nope, we've got more cabling here. We have a USB charge cable for our DualShock 3. We have another USB charge cable. Looks like we have the documentation. Oh, that's pretty cool, there's a few. Well, everything there, it's all in Japanese. So I'll just flick that out of the way. Put the box down. Ooh, let's finally, after all these years, I have one. All right, sweet. Oh, and doesn't that look pretty? All right, there she is. The satin silver fat PlayStation 3. Now this is the 80 gigabyte version. So it wasn't the original one that Kaz Harai had up on stage behind him because obviously that was the uh, backward compatible. I think it was 60 gig version because it had the four uh, USB ports in the front and the SD card slots just here in a little uh, compartment that would kind of flip up. But that's pretty cool. So this model number is the CEC HL00. So that is pretty awesome. But after all these years, I have a satin silver PlayStation 3. So I'll do a few close-up shot uh, shots for you guys now. Okay guys, well that was it for today's video. Just a quick little unboxing of the Saturn Silver PlayStation 3. I'm sorry this video was uh, really quick and probably really, really rough. None of it was scripted at all. I just wanted to make a video just to put it out there and give you guys a little bit of content. Now, uh, in regards to a new room tour, a lot of you guys have been asking about that. I'm not gonna do a room tour until everything's done. So like I said, the game is probably at about 90% complete, but I want it to be 100% perfect until I put any content out there. Uh, in regards to new content, um, now that we're in the new house, I wanna get back on a regular kind of upload schedule. So I'm gonna start working on some more pickup videos and the medieval Let's Play. So I had a poll in the last um, channel update video asking, uh, what you guys would like to see from another Let's Play and I put up a list of games You guys have decided in the comments and the winner is Medieval Which is really really good because that's another one of my favorite childhood games a lot of memories with that So it should be pretty good. But anyway guys, I'll leave the video here I am sweating like crazy. It is so hot in here at the moment because I haven't got the aircon running But uh, be sure to stay tuned for more PlayStation content Keep it positively flowing and I'll see you next time Thanks guys.